How's it going everyone? My name is Sami from Cobrasoft. In this video, I'm going to talk about the ways to customize upside theme using the easy to use yes powerful customizer. Now go to customize in appearance. You can see this brings up the theme customizer in the left column along with the preview of your site on the right. The first option you can see here is site identity. In this option, you can edit the title and tagline of your website without going to the settings section. The site icon is used as a browser and app icon for your site. Click select file here to upload your own icon. The title, tagline and icon of your website will be displayed in this header area or you can upload your own logo in theme options like we did for upside theme. After customizing, click here to go back. The next option is menus. This section lets you choose the theme location for your created custom menus. Like in custom menu 1, you can reorder any item by drag and drop action. And you can add a new items by clicking here. Choose any item you want to add to the custom menu 1. This theme supports three menu locations, icon menu, main menu, and mobile menu. Click to choose the location you want to display this menu on the side. To edit the menu content, you need to go to menus option under appearance. Now go back. Go to watches. In widgets, there will be a section for each widget area of your theme. You can add any widgets for footer, copyright, and mega menu by going inside and clicking add a widget here. Then choose the widget you want, then configure it. However, you can also add and configure widgets on your WordPress admin panel by going to widgets under appearance if you like. Next one is static front page. Instead of going to reading in settings, you can configure what will appear on the front page in static front page. You can display your latest post here or a static page, then choose which page for front page and which page for post page. I will choose home one for front page, then choose blog page for post page. Now go back. The last one is theme options. Theme option is added to the customizer of upside theme. Here you can upload logo for your site from library media or your computer. You can go to header options then choose header style for your site with or without menu. You can check search form and breadcrumb to show them on the front end. For example, this is the search form on the side, so I would uncheck it. And this is where the breadcrumb shows, so I will uncheck it. So you can see the search form and breadcrumb are not shown in the front end anymore. You can also upload background for the page title if you want. Now go back. Go to post archives. In post archive, you can enter the number of words of excerpt to show. For example, go to blog, blog page. Scroll down the page. You can see one post here. So now I will enter 50 for number of words of excerpt. So you can see the number of words is now longer than before. You can uncheck author here. So this post will not display the author name anymore. You can also check or uncheck other options here. Now go back. In theme options, you can also customize many other options like core single, event archives, phones, custom CS, and more. 
All of them are very easy to adjust with the live previewing of your site on the right of your screen. After all, click on Save and Publish button to ensure any changes you have made to your options are saved to your database. Once the button takes change to Saved, telling that your settings have been saved. So that's how the live customizer of your theme works. Hope that you can customize your site easily with Upside WordPress theme. Thanks for watching. Good luck.